Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Virgo. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, Virgo, is through the comments, right? By you letting me know which tarot cards resonate with you. Keep in mind as well, Virgo, also if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a, a like, a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Virgo. Uh, but remember to use your intuition as well because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, darling. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my cards here, my tarot cards, are just here to give you some food for thought, Virgo, a perspective for you to think about as you go throughout your week, as you go throughout the rest of your day today, but never making the choice in your life because I believe it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So all that being said, let's get into your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Virgo. Starting out your energies, darling, we have the Queen of Fire or the Queen of Wands coming in for you coming in hot. So this card says, stretch your wings and fly, asserting your, oh, don't underestimate yourself, assert your independence and creativity. So definitely right now at this time, Virgo, it, it feels as if you guys are standing at like the cliff of something, right? I feel like you guys are standing at like right at the cliff of something. You guys are really at this place, Virgo. I don't know why. Like, I guess this is where you, how you guys are managing yourself standing at this cliff. Just, you know, a little bit in, you know, you're about to take that dive, right? But then you take a few steps back and you're just like, oh, no, no, no. I feel like, you know, very much so an example of like the chick that needs to leave the nest, leaving the nest. But I don't feel like you guys end up, I feel like you guys spook yourself out each time. Uh, Virgo, there's, you know, and you know, notice with this card, it says don't underestimate yourself. So this is definitely a situation, Virgo, where I kind of feel like I need to call some of you guys out in the sense that you guys need to see your, uh, see more of your potential. I feel like I need to hold a mirror up to you, Virgo, and be like, look, look at how good you are, Virgo, right? I feel like you guys need to be reminded of that. You told some good things um, about yourself because maybe, I don't know. I just get this impression, Virgo, that you guys are not seeing yourself in as good of a light as you potentially could be seeing yourself in. So let's just get some clarifying cards, right? Let's get into this a little, little bit deeper for you. We have starting out the Queen of Swords coming in. A lot of Queen energy coming off in, right off the bat. So definitely giving me a lot more of a uh divine feminine energy which doesn't obviously your gender doesn't matter whatsoever to give off masculine or feminine energy darling i mean consider the source hello um but it is very much so you're getting both queens that are very much uh alpha very much so in your face bold energies um I don't know why, but I keep on thinking about Xena, the warrior princess, and she was playing even before my, oops, I did, as I hit my camera, darling, but Xena, the warrior princess was before my time even, and I've never watched, I don't know if it's like a movie, is Xena, the warrior princess like a movie, Virgo, or like a uh, TV show? I know it's like old, it's old, darling, I, <laughs> and I couldn't even tell you the storyline behind it, but it, I do know it's just giving me very much so Xena, the warrior princess energy with this. So with this Queen of Swords coming in here, um, it's almost like some of you guys are afraid of taking action or leaving that nest. Um, maybe perhaps because the last time you tried it you ended up getting burned a little bit so now you're in this queen of swords state where you kind of are feeling a little bit more protective uh virgo 
Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, it almost does feel like the last time you took, tried to leave the nest, the last time you started entertaining something in this field, it kind of fell flat on your face or something ended up disappointing you. Whatever, you know, this knight could represent a person or it could just represent the opportunity itself, like a job that you thought was going to be really fruitful ending up being like the worst job that you ever did, right? Not paying you enough and all that. So then we have the full card coming in with the star card that was right attached to it. Uh, Virgo, can't make this up with this time. This is one of those times, Virgo, where if you're going to trust me at any point as your tarot reader, uh, this would be the time to really trust me. Put in all your trust at this point, darling. Gamble for me. <laughs> truly don't gamble. I'm not talking, you know, listen, like, nothing about that. But truly, in this sense, uh, Virgo, if you are having this resistance because whatever that Knight of Cups was before, right? Maybe someone disappointed you. I even heard the word betrayal in a sense before. There's something that was like holding you back from like leaving the nest almost again and you know taking this chance and so when spirit brings up this dynamic and spirit's kind of challenging you virgo and being like well what if you know what if this time is different right what if this time you just had this unwavering faith <gasps> wait a minute hold up y'all just in real time just now uh had me process hello virgo <laughs> I know I've like titled my videos as like goosebumps. This literally, y'all in real time have watched me get goosebumps right now. Like, you know how I was literally just saying like at the beginning of the reading and I was just like, ooh, yes, we're having a buggy, darling. You're at the press, you're at like the edge of a cliff. Look at the artwork for this fool card. And I don't know if you can even hand, like, there we go. You can see literally the fool's at the cliff. Now, Virgo, if this isn't as much of an affirmation as you possibly can possibly get, darling, I don't know what it is that needs to be brought forward to you for you to see this clearly, right? For you to receive this reading and realize that this reading is for you, <laughs> right? For my Virgos that are just hanging out at the edge of this cliff, really weighing out the decisions, really you know, just like, you know, you're going this is about to go out, you're about to take that leap and then you back up, right? Reach out, reach out for that star, darling. Reach out for this star, whatever this star is to you, right? Because the star represents the wish fulfillment, and once you reach this star, just a lot of like weights being lifted off of you, right? Whatever is the star is, reach out for it, Virgo. Take a chance, right? This is what I was trying to say before. If, if you're going to trust me as a tarot reader, darling, this would be the time. <laughs> I mean, I already came in swinging, darling. I mean, I came out with my, I came out showing my best hands, apparently, darling, with how this is all setting up. Like, I love it when I'm good at my job, Virgo, but it's just like, no, like, Truly, y'all know, like, y'all know. If you look up any type of tarot reading, y'all have definitely seen once or thrice, my, probably my name included in there, where it's just like, oh, goosebumps in the title. Darling, y'all literally saw, like, live action me reacting. And I was like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> this shows, I mean, what I mean, I'm not even going to edit it out. I'm not ashamed of, like, my reaction in it, because it just shows to you that I'm passionate about it. Shows to you I'm invested, darling. But, um, <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> crazy. I really hope this reading finds the people that it needs to find. Um, so this is where you're currently at, Virgo. Let's see how this journey is going to progress looking like for you. So we have the Six of Air and the Nine of Pentacles, or the Six, Nine of uh, Earth for you. This air is sword energy as well. Six of Air says things are looking up, looking at things from a different uh, situation, or the end of a difficult situation, rather, and taking a trip. Whereas the Nine of Earth or the Nine of Pentacles says enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, and successful self-employment, Virgo. So definitely, uh, when you take this leap, you know, naturally you're taking this leap, but you're leaving something. Um, I, I obviously, yeah, you're leaving like a tough situation, but I do just naturally, it's very reminiscent of that full energy where it's like a completely clean slate, uh, that I feel for you, Virgo. And I feel like very much so as well. I won't be surprised if we get like a page of wands for you, honestly. Uh, page of wands in this because I feel like that's like I always say uh, my fresh start card right whenever that card comes in you're going into a fresh start with this nine of earth coming in as well 
what this is encapsulating is you being able to just rely on yourself, taking care of yourself, right? Not having to answer to anybody else, not having to deal with the potential disappointment of other people, not living up to the standards, not, you know, um, that you set, you know, even if you're not asking for much, darling, right? You know, like you could be asking for the bare minimum. And even then, that's not even much, right? And they still don't live up to that standard, Virgo. Um, I just feel like you're no longer going to have, like, it's gonna, I feel like it's in a good way. I don't feel like you're, it's not necessarily hermiting energy, so I don't feel like you're going to be alone, but it's more so like there's less hands involved in your community pot. I don't know if that even makes sense. We're going to move on. Some clarifiers. Five of swords. Yeah. In the nature of moving on with this next to the six of air, the six of swords, you're taking the high road with the situation. You're not engaging. You're not trying to fight for this energy to come forward. You're not going to ask this person that said that they were going to do this one specific thing for you. You're not going to remind them, right? Because they should have known. They should have lived up to the standards. So you're going to be keeping it moving. You're going to be keeping it moving because you have better things planned for yourself. I know this all sounds silly because I speak in analogies. And so when I'm talking about taking out the garbage, right? Like this person promising taking out the garbage and they just never take out the garbage, right? It sounds silly, but it's in this nature of the example that I feel like that's what it is you're walking away from. Ten of Cups, and this is not going to be like a black and white. I mean, life never is black and white, darling. But in this situation here, Ten of Cups. Now, is, you, is this because you're walking, like having to take the high road and disengage from like potential like... Because the Ten of Cups uh, represents like people in your close circle, very much so like your family and stuff like that. Very much so stuff, people that have seen you in a, in your most vulnerable, uh, or in a more vulnerable state, right? So four swords in the reverse. This is someone that you've given chances with before. This isn't like a first time around where it speaks about some type of disappointment, Virgo. And I feel like you're transitioning on from it, but I celebrate you for this because you're still keeping it productive, uh, having it as productive energy with this nine of pentacles, right? Nine of wands. I don't see you guys. The best thing you can do at this time, Virgo, is not taking it personal, not internalizing it. Just because this person never lives up to the promises that they make to you, don't take this as a personal thing be like oh they don't want to hang out with me because they flake on me every single time you know i kind of hate the saying when people are just like oh how people are treating you is a direct reflection of how they see themselves because i don't think that's the case at all uh all the time whatsoever or you know when people say it's just like what you don't like in one person is just a direct reflection of what you don't like in yourself or whatever and i was like girl no let's no we don't have to be that deep you know, you're just not taking it personal and realizing this person's flaky, but they have their own stuff going on, right? They're still a good person, right? This, these people, clearly you care about them, right? Because this Ten of Cups shows to me that there's some, you know, they couldn't have been all bad. Uh, is essentially what I'm trying to say, Virgo. It couldn't have been all bad in the situation that you were moving on from. It provided, provided something to you on some level at some point in your life but now you got to keep it moving right you gave it that second third third <laughs> let me have my second chance with this saying this virgo you gave it the second the third the fourth chance even the fifth chance for some of y'all virgo y'all really gave this several chances probably several too many darling but um it keep kept on disappointing you and so now you're just like all right I'm out, deuces, right? You're calling your deuces, right? Getting into this Nine of Pentacles energy where it's just like, you don't have to be dealing with nobody else, right? And then the Five of Cups, this this is literally one of those things where it's like, encapsulates that energy from before, right? With that Five of Swords and this Ten of Cups where it's just like, you're not happy about doing it, but you kind of have to, it's very much so that bittersweet ending where it's just like, all right, like, I know I got to leave here, but it's not like, I'm not happy about it, right? Probably going to still be checking up on you once in a while, making sure you're doing okay. But you know, for your best interest, you got to go this other way, right? It's just like, peace and love, baby. Peace and love, darling. But, you know, I want you to progress. I want you to eat. You know, there's this saying, I remember, I do, it's, from, so it's from Twitter that I saw it from. I don't know where it originated from, darling. I'm sure it wasn't from, it didn't originate from Twitter. That's for sure, probably. But there's a saying uh virgo where they say 
just because I don't like sayings like, um, get it out, Valka. Apparently I don't even know it myself. Where it's like, I want you to eat as well. I just don't want you to eat at my table. Right. In the sense where it's just like, I want you to thriving as well. Right. Just because I don't want you eating at my table, just because I don't want you thriving with me doesn't mean I don't want you thriving as well. Right. I just don't want you in my energy. I don't want you at my table. You can thrive at all you want at your table. Right. And good for you. Right. I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm happy that you get to, you know, do you too. But it just is one of the things that you have to be at your own table. I feel like Virgo. So yeah we'll leave it at that for that and so now virgo let's start getting into your uh romantic and social situations this week virgo let's see what's going on in love and all your plot uh platonic platonic uh relationships this week virgo because keep in mind we have more than just romantic relationships in our life virgo we have the platonic ones family friends you know co-workers everything darling so we have the ace of water ace of cups this is baby this is just a good reading all in all all in all, all in all now i'm gonna say virgo if you are only came in, coming in here for this portion of it and you haven't checked out the general portion check it out because this is definitely going to be reminiscent of it this as well uh the ace of water this is always a card when a tarot reader sees this as being like oh new love darling open your heart up your heart chakra is opening up darling uh people are being presented in your life that has you in this place of where you want to be a little bit more soft where you want to let new people in right this is a foreshadowing i believe for most of you virgos in that good people are coming like good people are coming to be in your space right now so you are left with a choice potentially of opening up to it or not right this card says falling in love with a resurgence of your relationship spiritual growth and enhanced intuition and a new home so let's delve into this right let's get some clarifiers and see if my out-of-pocket speaking i just had with this card is correct right let's get some clarifiers darling <laughs> How are you guys doing, Virgo? If y'all can't tell, I'm having, like, for y'all, I've had, like, my most fun doing a reading for probably ever. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, full card coming in here. Yeah, new journey. Full is associated with the number zero. Full keeps following you. Notice this cliff again, darling. Mm. I love it. Y'all's reading. I really do hope this reading finds the people that it needs to find, Virgo. This is such a powerful reading. We have the chariot card. Oh, this new energy is coming in. And I do feel like it's new. It's coming in quick, Virgo. Page of Swords. But the communication is going to be like the uh, issue here. Well, we say issue. It's more so going to be the hurdle to overcome. So definitely at this time, as keep even make note, Virgo. I was saying earlier in this reading where I was just like, I don't feel like you're going to be necessarily a hermit. And I was kind of out of pocket. Well, I say out of pocket, where it's like there's no specific card that says it. But I have this intuitive feeling, we'll say, darling, where I didn't feel like you're going to be alone. I just feel like you're separating yourself from that old energy and being like, you know, I got to ride over here, baby. Right? You got to do your thing. Page of Swords comes in here where it's like this new energy is coming in quickly, Virgo. But you got to be willing to open up to it, you know, exuding this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Water energy, opening up your heart chakra. Ironically enough, the intro to this video has me hitting the F chakra singing mode that I have, which is actually opening up for your heart chakra. Um, so def definitely uh, associated with the star card. Uh, powerful cards you know i don't feel like i need to go into any more like because it's just going to be repetitive at this point right i already said before the star card was like the wish fulfillment for you virgo I, like you in terms of your social life beautiful beautiful you can't get better than, <laughs> than that truly so uh yeah virgo now let's get into my virgo's financial and career situation this week through tarot what is going on for my virgos through their financial and work situation this week let's see what the let's see rather what the tarot cards have to say six of water six of cups uh memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children and romanticizing the past now the six of cups also represents something as an offer coming forward uh so let's get into these cards let's see what this dynamic is all about dealing with this past energy though 
what is going on here? Is this like an, like, this is more so the telling point with these clarifiers, uh, Virgo, where it's like, is this going to be like an offer coming in, right? Or is this going to be a situation of something else, right? Queen of Pentacles in the upright, Ten of Pentacles, this is looking good, it's looking like an offer, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, yes, uh, for my Virgos here, uh, definitely for taking, this is more so a sign for my Virgos that are probably already in the middle of a transition, where they probably have a foot already kind of halfway out the door, I don't feel like this is a reading, this part is more so for my Virgos that haven't considered. I feel like you already are in the process. I'm tapping into this, a Virgo already in the process of leaving a situation to go into something more fruitful. I feel like, because this has popped up for you, I was reading the entire time where it's like, you know, I use the example where it's like a work situation that you thought was going to be really good for you, but then you found out the pay was actually garbage, Virgo, and actually wasn't all that good for you, right? Um, so take that as you will, Virgo. Overall, such a beautiful reading, y'all. I know I keep on saying it, but <laughs> this is just like the little tarot geek in me. I really, uh, such a powerful reading you guys have. And funnily enough, you guys are like my most fun reading. Like I just have the most fun doing y'all's reading out of like I've ever had. So I want to thank you guys for that. It was very much so an enjoyable uh, time to connect to y'all's energy. But Virgo, that is the reading that I have for you this week. Unfortunately, this is the end of your weekly tarot reading. If you did enjoy this tarot reading, please let me know in the comments below if you geeked out with me, darling. Did you get some goosebumps as well, baby? Um, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, remember? Um, also, Virgo, I do, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, my website simplyvelka.com. All my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of them simplyvelka. And if you have a friend that's into tarot, Virgo, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them, Virgo. But until next time, I very much so hope I can connect with you guys in the very near future. I love you so much, Virgo. Bye.